Welcome to Super Mega Cast, everybody. It's uh, it's your boy Matt Watson. Yep, it's Matt Watson. Well, I was get, you <laughs> I was like waiting for you to introduce yourself, which is silent. It's just me. I'm like, well, guess it's just me. <laughs> and, and your boy Ryan, your boy Ryan has a quiz for Matt to take. Oh, so sure. let's just start off the podcast with a nice warm up. Okay, okay, ready? sure, I'm ready for okay, it. Okay, um. What color do you choose? I'm showing him a block, a range of colors. Okay, I'm gonna choose the third one, which is green. Green, okay. Okay, I like that color. What green. Is, what's this quiz? Uh, what word describes you? Cocky, polite, optimistic, carefree, enthusiastic, or sassy? I'm gonna say optimistic. Okay, optimistic. Okay. You know, now it's just a picture of cars. What what a bunch of cars do you like? Just choose your favorite car. Favorite car out of these. Oh man, that's a lot of cars. I'm going to have to pick the uh shit, man. I don't know. I don't really like any of those cars too much. If you were to own one and had to. Well, see that that's I like it, but it's too flashy. And then okay. that one's cool, and I like but it, it wouldn't be useful. Okay. Okay. I'll do the VW camper van. Okay. VW camper van. All right. Sounds good to me. Okay. Now, tell me which quote more in lies with how you are, okay? All right, all right. You got to be clean because even here in hillbilly hell, we have standards. Then there's, I'm the world's best backwards driver. Respect the classics, man. And then, I have gas. Lots of gas. <laughs> and the last one, float like a Cadillac, sting like a Beamer. Man, I don't remember any of those quotes. Like, Okay. G give me. I'll do the first one because I because okay. it was so, it was just the outlandish. hillbilly one. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay. And uh, now uh, you're gonna have to choose ch which film would you w much rather see? Are these all driving films? Fast and Furious, Herbie Fully Loaded, Need for Speed, Drive, Duel, or Rush? I'm gonna do Herbie Fully Loaded okay. because that movie was awful. Herbie. Herbie Fully Loaded. That was was that Lindsay Lohan's <gasps> last uh, movie before she kind of went off I, I off think the deep so, end before she went crazy. It's probably because the movie was so bad. Okay. You got Fillmore. That's your Disney's car character, and that's who Fillmore <laughs> that's is. That's the quiz I was taking? Yeah. Who's my Disney Who's car character? Who's your Disney's Pixar's car character? Okay. Which, car, which car's character are you? Well, guys, I'm Fillmore. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Volkswagen uh, van, I'd like the hippie one. Cool. <laughs> so, Man, I'm excited now. Now we know. Great. That was yeah. a good warm-up, and now we're uh, getting back into the podcast. I mean, we were technically in the podcast for that, but now we're in the podcast. We're in deeper now. Yeah, we're much deeper into the podcast. A couple feet deeper into the podcast. Yeah. And, uh, but before we get even deeper, uh -oh. why don't we take a minute to uh, to say a quick shout an out. An ad, an ad. Yeah, it's an, an ad, ad, it's an ad. Guys, you want to look good in your underwear and be comfortable, right? But that perfect balance is hard to find. You don't want to sacrifice style over comfort and vice versa. So check out MeUndies.com and you can find the best pair of underwear in the world. Can I tell you why MeUndies is so epic? Do it, Ryan. Do okay, it. first off, they're the most comfortable pair of underwear you will ever own, and I've ever owned myself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's made from, like, good fibers and stuff. You know, three times stronger than cotton. What? Yeah. Ladies will love the soft, eco-friendly fabric. So soft and touchable. For the fellas, me undies, diamond-seamed pouch cradles your jewels and gives your stuff the support it needs without feeling too tight. <laughs> nice. It's 100% satisfaction guaranteed. They're guaranteed you will love your undies yes. or your money back. I gotta say, right now, MeUndies has an exclusive offer uh, just for our listeners. You can get 20% off your first pair and free shipping. And MeUndies is so sure you'll love their underwear, they'll even offer 100% satisfaction guarantee, like what Ryan said, and that's a no-brainer. 20% off your free pair, free shipping, 100% satisfaction guarantee. What are you waiting for? To get 20% off, free shipping, and their 100% satisfaction guarantee, and get the best and softest underwear you will ever own, go to MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. That's MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. It's a limited time offer, so what are you waiting for? Come on, stop just waiting around. Just do it, please. Start wearing the best underwear of your life, please. Come on, for me, for your old pal, Matt. It changed my life. It's time to let MeUndies change yours. Go to MeUndies.com slash SuperMega right now. Thanks. These aren't your daddies, whitey tidies. That should be their slogan. That's a great slogan. I know. I just came. I, they, they should use it. It's not your daddy's underwear. That's creepy as hell. <laughs> it's not your daddy's underwear. If we ever underwear. start an underwear company, it's going to just be called Not Your Daddy's Underwear. <laughs> not your. Okay. That's fine. I'm, I'm so it. down. MeUndies, come on. Let's team up. You Even and more I than could, we are. could design some of the most comfortable underwear, I think. I think so, too. I want a pair of underwear that's literally just like a sock for your penis. Just slip it oh, right on and that's it. I guess you could just wear a sock on your penis. Never mind. But if you put a sock on your penis, you get like, you know, if there's like too much that hangs off, 
then you could cut it and then sew the seam. But or see, you could leave it open for fun. That's true. That's true. A little air too. Get some air in there. We're no longer in the ad, right? We can. Yeah, talk this like is. This. We can, we're talking like Meundies is no longer sponsoring us to be saying this. This, this exact stuff thing. about. Yeah, right? yeah. Unless they want to be, in which. Go to MeUndies.com slash yeah. Super Mega. And they can take us up on this offer to create a new pair of underwear that simply just covers your penis. Anyway, I'd like to tell a story, Ryan. It's a really small story that's like three seconds long. Earlier today, I was Does walking that mean up- it's about your penis? Ryan, I, I, I've had it! <laughs> I've had it. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to tell my story okay, here. Tell your story. I was just trying to goof and gaff you for 2018. It's only the second <laughs> podcast in the year. Okay, okay. I'm Our sorry. gaffs have to be top quality. All right, I blew, I, I blew, I blew a lid. You it blew a cool. fuse. Yeah, blew I did. A big it wasn't old cool. fuse. I'm sorry. It's like you're a mansion and all the lights went out. No backup generators, nothing. Oh, uh, you ain't seen all the lights go out yet, Ryan. Oh, I'd love just to back up and never mind. <laughs> um, I was walking down the sidewalk uh, with a, a car salesman Were earlier today. I was not whistling. Did you your little hat on? No, we were walking in silence. <laughs> this makes this story so much more just uninteresting now. I, well, I haven't if it to doesn't, the interesting if, part. if it doesn't start with you walking down the sidewalk whistling with a little hat on. Okay, from now on, every <laughs> single one of my stories I tell on the podcast will start with me wearing a little hat. I don't like wait, little hat is in like hey Arnold little, like that size? Or like it's just small. <laughs> no, not like a baseball cap, like a little, like a miniature fedora type of thing. Like, like a little hat. I don't know how to explain like it. Like a hat you'd put on like a dog? Like yes, exactly. Like that. But for you. What type of hat is it? Um, hold on. Like a baseball cap or a fedora? I'm going to look up hats on Google and choose which hat. Okay. You're, you're going to get back to your story. How about like a bowler cap? One of these. <laughs> That's just a woman's, What what is that called? A, an or, uh, is that just a sun hat? Straw boater hat. Straw boater hat. Okay. Um. <laughs> anyway. I was walking down the sidewalk with a car. No, 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 no. <laughs> this hat. Yes, I don't know what that's called. It looks like a, that's what like nice, rich, old white men wear. Oh, hey. yeah. yeah, like a barbershop quartet would yeah. wear that hat. Okay, anyways. Okay, back to my story. I was walking down the sidewalk whistling wearing a small hat. And I was with a car <laughs> salesman because okay. I was checking out uh, the possibility of leasing a car, which I'm not going to do anymore. But I was like, hey, I'll check it out. I was walking down the sidewalk and... um. A, a young man walked by with a shopping cart, and he was screaming loudly, uh, very enthusiastically. So obviously the shopping cart wasn't taken, like, legally. Yeah, he had, he had clearly stolen. It was filled okay. with his belongings, okay. and he okay. was screaming in a high-pitched voice. Uh, like, high-pitched, like, <gasps> No, not, he, hey, yo, like, he was like, he was like, hey, blah, blah, like that. Blah, 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 what's going on? Exactly like that, SpongeBob. And he was screaming, <laughs> and it, and he was screaming, uh... Boy, it feels good to be gay. Boy, it feels good to be gay. Yeah, he was just doing that, and then he started. He sta- nope, not that. <laughs> and he started screaming. Uh, he started laughing and screaming sexual harassment as he walked by me. So, that's my story. <laughs> sexual harassment. Sexual harassment. <laughs> Ryan, you make a great cartoon. Character. Nice little hat. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> my friend Ryan picked it out for me. I like the way you're whistling, son. Thank you. I've been practicing. Want to get in my cart? Yeah, I'd love Wanna to. Want to get in my cart? I would love to get in a homeless cart. <laughs> I'm cart. gay. That's what was happening. That's what it was. <laughs> That's ex- see, you're All very enthusiastic ca- uh, cartoon character. Thank you. I should be. I should be a voice actor. No, you should just be a cartoon character. I should be a voice actor. You should live your life and identify as a cartoon character. You can't identify as a cartoon. Yes, character. you can. Uh, yeah, yeah I guess I guess technically you, you can, but then I it's just say, nonsense. I'm a I'm a cartoon character now. I, I identify as SpongeBob. I just want to be like that guy pushing that cart today. He was so enthusiastic about life. Yeah. And boy, did it feel good to be gay. That's what are you saying? Boy, it feels good to be gay. He didn't have a southern accent like... Boy, it feels good to be gay. Kind of like, yeah, exactly like okay, that. Okay. Just yelling, boy, it feels good to be gay. And I'm happy Woo. for him. I'm glad that it felt good to be gay. You know? <laughs> it probably felt wonderful. Probably, I look in at the look on his face, it felt great. He was really enjoying like, it. Like, being gay was his way... Actually, I was about to say, is his way of hiding from his problems. But that's everyone. Everyone hides from their problems. By being gay. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's the, that's the common the, that's, escape mechanism. Those senators gay. aren't actually gay. <laughs> I remember when that happened. That was I remember hearing that on the radio over and over. Wait, which one? Because there's so many. You're yeah, talking about there's the a dude lot. that blew someone in his own office? Or are you talking no. about the dude that got, taught, that got caught with a 17-year-old and he was wearing a Bible quotes verse that says, make me a sandwich? Wait, the Bible... The, no, no, no. There was a bot. He was. He had a. He had Ephesians blank, blank, blank on his shirt. But there was also a picture of a sandwich, and it's about women being being Subjective. all submissive, submissive to the husband. Okay, and it's essentially like, make me a sandwich. <laughs> For a second, I thought you meant there was a Bible verse that was literally about making like make me a sandwich. Would it surprise like, you? 
Uh, not too much, to be honest. Yeah. Not too much. Okay. But anyway, I was like, uh, shit, I totally forgot what I was saying. Fuck, Ryan, help me. What, what was I saying? You were you were making love to your dad. I was not making love to my dad. That's not what I was saying. Are you sure? I could have sworn you said something. What if I was that gullible? I was like, oh yeah. So I was making love to my. (laughs) Wait a second. (laughs) Yeah, just like hold on. I wasn't making love to my dad, (laughs) or was I? Damn it, Ryan, you're getting inside my brain. All of a sudden, you call your dad. Hey, dad, did you and I ever make love? No. Okay. (sighs) Ryan, you got me this time. (laughs) Next time, you won't be so coy. Um, but I uh. Shit, dude, what was I... F- oh, yeah, the senator. You were senator. walking down the sidewalk, whistling with a little hat on. And I was talking about gay senators. Yes. Yes. Remember a long time ago, that one senator, and he was in the airport bathroom, and and, and he was he like... He his little foot tap thing? He was doing his little, Is like... Is that like a legitimate code? Is that legitimate code for, I want a blowjob? Apparently, there's like a, a, a code that some guys use in public bathrooms for sex with other random men. And he did that. And then he got arrested because the guy, like, reported him. And then he had to go to a press conference where he's like, I am not gay. I never have been gay. And I just remember when I was a kid, I heard that exact quote on the radio all the time. And it was really funny. I'm just trying to think of, like, how, like, how do you, how do you arrest someone? He could have just been tapping his foot. Yeah, Unless he was like, if, give me a blowjob. He tapped out, give me a blowjob in Morse code. <laughs> he typed, uh, he, he tapped out, boy, I'm gay and would love a blowjob from another man in Morse code with his foot. I don't understand how you're arrested after that. Uh, Are you telling the truth, Matt? There must have been more to it. He got arrested by, like, airport security, I think. Damn. Um, detained by airport detained, security. Detained, right. They don't have the power or authority to arrest him. But, I like, what if I'm just, uh, you know, in a public bathroom, and, I, and I'm singing a song in my head. You know, I'm wearing okay. my little hat. I'm whistling. You're tapping your I'm foot. I'm tapping my foot to the beat in my head. To the, to the jingle of the jam. But apparently, like, what if what I'm tapping, I don't realize it, but it's a signal for gay sex. What, what then? And then? And then you have to have gay sex. Yeah, that's You're the code. Stuck. That is. It's like it's pretty much that foot tap is like a legal like binding, binding contract. contract that it's I now have to have con- gay sex. Not even verbal. <laughs> it's an it's an audible contract. Yes. You know. Well, you and I have been uh, playing PUBG lately. Yeah, we have. Not gonna spoil anything, but it's coming on the channel at some point. Very soon, as in like within the next week, we got some episodes going up. Get ready for that first episode. It is a roller coaster. It is. Let me tell you. It was fun. So it took us forever to set up our recording setup, though, because like we had to figure out all this technical stuff to make it so like we could talk to each other, but our Discord audio wouldn't get picked up by the recording. Just learning. It's like learning simple stuff for the first time usually takes a little bit of trial and error. It does. And then once you get it, it's like second nature yeah so yeah we got it all set up now and so we're gonna be recording a lot i hope you guys like these episodes these are a lot more free form i'm just having a great time but they're really fun they're fun to record so i hope you guys like them um also like I, i'm sure you might have noticed uh you're wearing podcast, reeboks i am i am wearing reeboks that is true i actually have to go take these back because they're half a size too small and they're really crushing my toes right now were you about to say how how they're noticing that the podcast is on a Friday yes, instead of a exactly Thursday. Yes, exactly what I was going to say. Okay. But yeah, uh, the podcast is now on Fridays. We did that out of uh, convenience and scheduling for ourselves. And I remember a while back we did read some comments. People were like, yeah, Friday's okay. Because we toyed with the idea before. Yeah. Um, but I think we're also going to keep it to one long podcast mm-hmm. a week. We Remember, when, whenever we say something, we're never ever going to do it. We do read the comments when we ask serious questions that will change format like that. But yeah. also keep in mind... While your opinions do matter, at the end of the day, we're going to do what we think is best for ourselves in the channel. Yeah, exactly. So fuck you and your opinions. But also thank you for them. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> really value those. But but yeah, Ryan, what uh, what's new in your life, buddy? I don't know. I haven't seen any movies lately. I need to go see a movie. We just saw one. Yeah, but we already talked about it, I thought. Shit, didn't we? we did, didn't we? Well? Talked about The Post. Yep, that's true. With uh, <laughs> I love the ending. With Hom Tanks and Meryl Streep. The ending was such a, it was just, I keep, I keep laughing about it because the ending could have just stopped when the security guard was opening the door. It's like, oh, they're at the water gate or no, no. When the camera was panning out and you see the other people with the flashlights and the windows. But then as it's doing that, it goes, Hey, I'm at the water gate. (laughs) Something is going on here. It's like, uh, no shit. Everybody in the theater knows that this is Watergate. Unless you're 16 years old. Well, maybe some 16-year-olds are watching. <laughs> they didn't know what Watergate is. They had to have it spelled out for them. They should have put text on the screen that was like, this is Watergate happening like, right now. Like the little thing in the corner of the screen that goes, <laughs> like it shows <laughs> Watergate. Watergate <laughs> <The> DNC. <laughs> I, um, you know what would be a great supercut of a movie? <clears throat> what? 
you know, like that part when it's pulling out and it shows the guys with the flashlights. Then yeah. cut to the part in Forrest Gump where Forrest Gump is on the phone across <laughs> yes. the way from Watergate. And it's Tom Hanks, too. Just Talk like, it, yeah. So that would be the most confusing thing. You're like, did his character just change? And then just watch the rest of Forrest Gump from that point onward. Can someone send uh, us at Super Mega on Twitter, uh, edit together a clip of Tom Cruise, sorry, not Tom Cruise, Tom Hanks talking to himself on the phone from two different movies. Just do it. Yeah, make it, see how realistic you can portray this conversation. Can you cut it together where it makes sense? I'm, I'm intrigued. I'd like to see that, Ryan. That's a very unique and, and witty idea, and I'd like to see what you guys can do with it. And then when you're done, do the Tom Cruise running challenge. Can you run like Tom Cruise? Find out and win $300,000 at the drop of a hat. That's not a, uh, that's not a... Sponsored by 7-Eleven. Ryan, you're really... Can you run like Tom Cruise? It's, it's, uh, for legal disclaimers, 7-Eleven is not going to give $300,000 on behalf We are not associated with 7-Eleven. Super mega. Except for loving their content and Matt's socks. Loving their loving 7-Eleven's content. They, they make good content. <laughs> they make, they're my favorite content creators, 7-Eleven. <laughs> they they make them. those good Slurpees. Dude, 7-Eleven's great. It like, is. Fuck, I'm wearing 7-Eleven socks right now. I love 7-Eleven. Yeah, but I haven't gone to the good 7-Eleven. Like, the, the best 7-Eleven. The Asian 7 Eleven. Yep. They're good. I mean, the ones in America are still really, really good. It's not one of those things where it's like they suck. I try, I try, I try to give this guy the benefit of the doubt at our 7-Eleven. It's this old, like, 30, 40-year-old Indian man. Yeah, he that did, guy. He's been working there for probably a year by now. I'd say so, yeah. He still has no grasp on anything he's doing. <laughs> Every time I go in there, it's just, it's this big, confusing clusterfuck. <laughs> There's a line of people, and like... There is. I've noticed every time I go in there, there's like 10 people in line. He's always like, um, uh, um. I feel bad for him. I feel bad for the I mean, guy. He's obviously I, very confused. I do too, but there comes a point where you've been working somewhere for four years. Or sorry, for a, at least a year. You <laughs> should know the basics of running a till. Uh, Ryan, why don't, why don't you teach him? Why don't you I could. And be like, I sir? could learn his job and do it better in a week. Like, sir, can we, uh, can, can, can I help you out? And then just like, Ring yourself up and then leave. He seems super, like, he's super competent with everything else. But when it comes to that register, nothing. That's his, that's his nemesis, man. That's I've seen him, foe. I've seen him purposely like, um, I, I gotta go, I gotta go put the drinks up or whatever he does. I, he doesn't really talk much. So that's just his general vibe is he takes a big thing of drinks, motions over to the cooler and the other coworkers like, okay, I got the front. <laughs> but then when he's left alone there, he's fucked. Yeah, poor little guy, man. We should go in. You know what we should do? Maybe it's just too stress, because, like, the stress of this job never ends. We got to go and we got to pamper him, you know? Do his nails, give him a little mani-pedi, give him a foot massage, rub his shoulders, style his hair for him. Just make him feel good about himself. Yeah. And I'm never mean to him. Other people are. I'm aggravated with him mentally. I'm very, fur like, I'm infuriated by him sometimes. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I have to I have to believe he's trying his absolute hardest. I think he is. I think you know? he is. I think he's just having he's having a bit of a struggle. I think maybe he's just nervous, man. He's not used to these computers, you know? Mm -mm. He's used to having like little <coughs> ching ching those types <laughs> those, those types of uh, I knew exactly registers. what you meant by those sounds. Yeah. Those are o good sounds by the way. Old registers. Thank you. Dude, I love old registers. I just want to buy I just want to buy one and have it in my room just to play with. Really? It sounds like fun, man. Sounds like I I, I want a typewriter. Man, I have over when I when I was home for Christmas, my friend had a typewriter and I played on it a bunch. I typed some stuff and then I found a typewriter in my grandma's closet and it was really nice. And I'm thinking about getting a typewriter now because they're fun. Did you go and all the dust went? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was, it was in pretty good condition. It had oh, no okay. dust on it. Okay. But I'm thinking I'm thinking about getting a little tiny one. I can just I can just sit it sit at my uh my desk and do my do my work. Sit at your desk drinking your black coffee with your glasses and seven eleven socks. Ryan, is this an attack on my character? Uh, no, it's not an attack on your character, yes. What? Huh? Well, you forgot one crucial thing about that, Ryan. What? I'm going to be sitting at my desk drinking my black coffee with my glasses and my 7-Eleven socks and my typewriter with my little hat, and I'm going to be whistling. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There you go. There you go. That's, that's, that's a good image. That is a pretty good, that actually sounds like image. a great afternoon for me. Yeah. Like, I would love to do that. That sounds so relaxing and nice. I'm, I, I, you're going to hate me for this, but I just had this thought. I don't know why. You know how you always have those dark thoughts of like, huh? And then quickly they're like, what the fuck was that? I had a thought of, you know, 
when we eventually separate from each other, you have a place, I have a place. Mm -hmm. Could I burn your place down without you knowing it was me and being caught? I think I could easily. Yeah, of course. Like I could just go over to your place while you're sleeping and just light it on fire and run away and no one would ever know. Except you. You should invest in cameras around your house. Why? Why you? Because someone could fucking set your house on fire. You got I... a look on your face right now that's like... All I'm saying is when I get my own place, I'm putting like a security lock on the door. I'm putting a camera on the back and front porches. I'm, why don't I just, you know what, I don't need any of that. I'm just going to get flame retardant stuff and spray it all over the outside what, of my house what, every day. Whoa, whoa. What That's is, the word, Ryan. What flame is, retardant. <laughs> Calm down, dude. That word always made me, I was like, it just, it's just funny. You know what, you know what's stupid? Inflammable means flammable. Yeah, right? Like, why? Why is that, why is that a thing? Because it's, because it's funny. Why do flammable and inflammable mean the same thing? Inflammable means like, it sounds like it should like, oh, yeah, it, it, you're not going to be well, able to Well, the stem of in is not. Yeah, I Isn't know. Isn't it like not or between? Like or involuntary, something? involuntary, yeah. opposite words, you know? Um, I can't think of any other good examples right incognito. now. Incognito. Incognito is one word. In, it's not I'm in looking it space up. incognito. Yeah, I'm looking it up. Incognito is a word. I'm not, I know, I know. I'm looking I'm up. I'm telling you, Ryan. I incognito know is a it's word. a word. I'm looking up the origins. I'm looking up its backstory. It's etymology. Incognito, mid 17th century, from Italian, literally unknown from Latin incognitus, from in, not, plus cognitus, past participle of cog, uh, Jesus, cognosir? No. So not no. Not known. Unknown! Look at that. Man, I love Latin because, like, Latin, like, all the words in with us, and it just sounds funny. Did you ever. In, uh, in elementary school, did you have, like, a Latin club? No. I did, and like I was in it for you went half, to it? Half, a, half of a year, and it was pretty cool, and then it was uninteresting, and I stopped. Did you learn any Latin? I don't remember it to this day, but I'm sure there was, like we learned stems and stuff like that. It was mainly that type of shit. No, that's useful for like English, like learning like the stems and stuff, but Latin is a language. My it's grandma spoke language. Latin, yeah. My grandma spoke French and Latin, and some Spanish, I think. Isn't it like you can't be fluent in Latin anymore? I imagine, I, I mean, you, I'm sure there's people that can, but I don't... I don't know, it's a dead language. Because, like, there's some words and things that people just don't know anymore. I'd imagine so, as with most languages. I read some sad statistic that was, like, every day, like, two languages. To, actually, that's completely inaccurate. It was some amount of time, though, and then some every large... Every day, two languages disappear from the face of the No, earth. really, it was, like, it was like every day a certain number of, uh, of like, languages die. You want to be even more sad? Yeah. Think about it. I'm thinking. In a few decades, the gene pool will be muddled, like muddied up. No more white people. Ah! That was, no! That was a meme I saw. Really? Some guy was like, it was a picture of like a white chick. And it was like, can you believe in a few decades this beautiful white creature won't exist? Really? Yeah. R.I.P. I thought it was funny. <laughs> you know, R.I.P. That's so sad. Mm-hmm. We gotta we gotta hold a little funeral procession for the white race. I like I like Facebook. I like Facebook memes because I know the people who are using them, and it's like I know they're using them legitimately, <laughs> like really awful old memes. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can. I'm gonna scroll and see if I can just find some stupid. Oh, you know, here here's someone sharing the mystery of the missing cat. That's the problem with Facebook. Is like I used to go on there to check, like ah, see what my my friends and family are up to, and now I get on there and it's just like viral video clips every like. Like every single person's just sharing stuff. Does this look like the personal lives of my friends and family? No, that looks like uh, videos what? on how to make some kind of weird casserole with Cheez Its. And then an uh, an ad for a show that's coming on to Fox. And then an ad for something that I've never searched, but I've talked about in recent days. And I'm like, how did they know that? That's weird. Huh. I talked about uh, paper towels and how I needed to get some paper towels. And then I checked my Facebook and there were ads for paper towels. And I was like, what? Really? Yeah. I don't like that. That's creepy. That is weird. I didn't look up paper towels or anything, but I, I, I said several times, like, I need to get paper towels. And then I looked at my phone, and the next day I had an ad for paper towels. And I was like, huh, why is Facebook suggesting I should buy paper towels right after I was talking about paper towels? Also, that thing that's going around where it's like, take a picture of yourself, Herbie and then it, it, it compares you to like, uh, like a, a famous painting to see I what haven't you done that like. yet. Did Have people you? not see that that's clearly like, just... I feel like that's just Google, like, cataloging faces. Well, it's that. 
Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, why, why else would they make that? I feel like it's just a way to catalog faces. And to see how, like, say, look at this recognition technology. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, I have a Google phone, so I can't really talk. I did it, though. I did the... the you did? The portrait thing, yeah. Well, what what was your art piece? Did yeah, you gonna, post it onto Twitter or something? I did not post it on Twitter. Let me pull it up real quick. Let me... let me, uh, let me the take last a time Matthew post, posted on Twitter? I posted the other day on Twitter. No. Here I am, Ryan. Where? Look at this. Look at this one. I think Aaron and I got the exact same one. <laughs> Does it look like me? It kind of looks like the face you're making. <laughs> I'm making that face I was making in my two lovely uncles. Oh, man. That's good shit, guys. How did I not see that tweet of yours? What what tweet of mine? The Martin Scorsese tweet. Oh, yeah. Don't you think Review Scorsese, Bra? sorry. Scorsese. Review Bra would be perfect in a gangster movie. Like, as like a very intimidating, psychopathic crime boss. Where he's just like, hmm, uh, take him out back. Oh, shit, Tell dude. Tell him good night. Zac Efron's gonna play Ted Bundy. Really? Yeah. I could see that. Ted Bundy was an attractive man. And Zac Efron's an attractive man. That's how uh, that's how a lot of serial killers uh, get it done. Because they're very charismatic and attractive. There's Zac Efron on the left, Ted Bundy on the right. Yeah, that totally... Oh, I'm excited for that movie. That's gonna be good. I like movies about serial killers. That's fucked up. Because then it's like... Whatever, it's the way that we work. I'm interested in serial killer shit because up, Ryan. it's just their psychology is so interesting to me. Yeah, it's fascinating. There's that show about How does him. that happen? How how does someone become so, uh, how does their, I don't know, how do they do it without throwing up? Like, what, like how do some people, because, you know, there's people like, like you and me where it's like, if I saw something graphic in real life, I'd probably vomit freak or out. pass. Yeah, I'd freak out. I mean, there's people that can do that graphic shit and then not feel anything. They, it's like, how do you get to that It's an adrenaline point? rush. Yeah, and it's like, what's different in their brain? Like, how did they become like that, you know? Like, to them, sometimes it's like butchering a deer. Yeah, it's like, it's it's just, ugh, it's, it's cre- creepy, crazy shit. And it's like, why, why are some people like that and others aren't? And the thought that there are like anywhere from 25 to 50 serial killers just somewhere in the United States and just kind of, like, they're just... They're almost like sleeper agents. Like, they'll just go quiet for a bit, and then they'll be like, ooh, shit, okay. I'm gonna go kill some people. Yeah, you could be doing nothing wrong. Like me, when I'm taking Lego out. I could be walking him out one day. Some guy I see walking over in the distance, I'm like, oh, that guy's walking to me. I look over again, I'm like, oh, wow, he looks like he's walking towards me. And And all of a sudden, you notice something. He's wearing a small hat, and he's whistling. (laughs) And he's got a big knife in his hand. Oh, no! And he's with another man, exclaiming how it feels good to be gay! (laughs) The guy that you wheel my body away in a in, in the a, shopping in a cart. Shopping cart. <laughs> you just membered body. Oh man. When's That's... the last time you went to a to a Target? I went to Target just last week. Aren't they better than Walmart? One hundred percent. I used to love Walmart. Walmart used to be my my thing. Yeah. Like, I, I, I no, like, I used to love Walmart too. What could be better than Walmart? It's got everything. I don't know. Target's got higher quality than Walmart. Target feels nicer too. Target it just has a nicer vibe. I feel like the employees are nicer. Uh, no judgment to any Walmart employees listening because it's case by case. But case I've just always case. had better experiences at Target. And also Target seems to just, I like the aesthetic. I like the vibe. I like the red. It's nice. And um, I also heard that Amazon is possibly buying Target. No way. No fucking way. I'm going to look that I up. Thought I heard that, that would I, be I, ridiculous. I thought I heard that Amazon was going to buy Target, which is terrifying because Amazon just bought Whole Foods. So it's like. These are big companies they're they're swallowing up. Jesus, Amazon buying UPS? What? No, Wait, really? Hold no on. way. FedEx and UPS dip after report on Amazon's delivery concept. Oh. So it wouldn't actually be I wonder if Amazon would ever like stop using UPS and just make their own carrier service and just use that cuz I mean it's like the biggest company in the world now, right? Has it surpassed Google? I don't know. Cuz I know Jeff Bezos or however you say his name, he's now the what, the richest man in history? The CEO of Amazon? No, Amazon isn't buying Target in 2018 from Forbes. Well, excuse me, Forbes. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. They don't They don't need to buy anything. They're good. They're set. They're making those little grocery stores. That's weird because it's like, I mean, that's what you'd think. It's like, I mean, they're, they're good, but I guess like companies like that get so big they're like well time to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger they have to keep innovating so what's the next big delivery convenience uh teleportation I mean, they have prime now what's, they're going to teleport the things thing? to your front door i guess prime now isn't everywhere it's not like no it's only in big cities yeah so they just need to expand that i guess and get hard like warehouses everywhere yeah man guys uh in LA we got this thing called Amazon Prime now which if you if you're listening and you also live in a big city 
You probably have it too. Maybe you didn't even know you had it. Go check. But it's an Amazon delivery service where it's like an app. And I think you do it on desktop now, but you it's can like order stuff. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's not, not really an app. It's like an app. <laughs> it is an app. No, but you can um you can order stuff and uh, Amazon will deliver it in, you can choose under an hour for oh, like wow. a little extra. But usually it's like two oh, yeah, hours. Yeah. Well, it's like seven ninety nine extra f- f- to deliver it in an hour. Yeah, but otherwise it's free. Um, but if it's busy, you can't get that. It'll be like, sorry, we can't do that at this time. Oh, Would you so like it in between 8 and 12 at midnight? Yeah, but basically it's just you get you can order stuff on Amazon and they deliver it almost instantly. Yeah. So, it's good for like groceries or if you need something quick and you can't run out, I can be like, "Okay, I'll just order this stuff." And then it shows up. It's got to tip your driver. It's like ordering pizza, but instead of ordering pizza, you're ordering Swiffer mop pads yes. and toilet paper and stuff. Yes. It's cool. Yes. You're going to say it? You're going to finish it off? Nope. You said three yeses. What comes next? I don't know. Yeah, you know what comes next. No. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you do, Ryan. Your 7-Eleven socks look like they're from Mexico. Well, they probably are from Mexico, Ryan. I got them on eBay. They just, the color pattern looks like a a Mexican type of color pattern. It looks Italiano. Okay, that's it. That's like the Italian it. Italian flag. I always get Mexicans and Italians confused. <laughs> you know <laughs> you what I'm say saying? Say that again, brother. High five. I'm always getting Mexicans and Italians confused. You know what I'm saying? You can say that again, brother. High five. I always get Mexicans and Italians confused. You know what I'm saying? The title of this episode will be, I'm always getting Mexicans and Italians <laughs> confused. You can say that again, brother. High five. How's that? Is that a good, is that a good title? <laughs> you don't have the balls to do that, man. I'm not doing it. And I'm not editing this one, Ryan. You don't have the balls. I do have balls. You don't. You want to see them? Oh. You want to see them, Ryan? Look. Look. Oh, because after this, I get to, I get to have some fun. Got to work on the PUBG stuff. Got to do some kitty cat gaming. Look and at then my I'm, balls. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm not gonna edit the podcast until tomorrow. Look at my balls. What? I can't. My pants are too tight. Oh. I can't. Oh, I can't okay. pull them out. I'm sorry. I would have done it though. I'm sure. Like you believe me, right, Ryan? Yeah. That I would have shown you my balls. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad, man. Mm-hmm. I'm glad that we have a friendship in which I can just pull my balls out and show you, and it oh. doesn't shock you. You didn't pull your ball ball skin. Well, yeah, but. Still, I mean, I, 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 I can show you my balls comfortably. It's not like it's uh so weird. Yeah, it's not weird, but it should be weird. Yeah, like I'm thinking about it. Like I think normal guy friends don't like they're not okay with seeing each other's dick. Like it's like ah, oh, dude. No, I mean, I think, I think. Or is it? Is it just like a ha ha dicks? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha dicks. Penis. There it is. Penis. I don't know, dude. Most, most, most guy friends I know. They're comfortable showing their dicks to their other guy friends. Look at my flaccid, floppy penis. Pretty much. I mean, you're not like revealing your erect penis to your friends. You're no, just like, no, you're like no, whipping no. it out and be like, ha ha, here's that's, my That's penis. one of the rules. You never show your erect penis to no, a friend. No, you can never show your erect penis to another man. Never. Especially if you make eye contact with that penis. <laughs> <laughs> that penis is looking at you like, buddy, buddy, back up. Get the, back up. Get the fuck off. Get the fuck out of the room. Man, like... I, I, I walk in, your penis is like, your penis is like fully erect, it's got you by the collar, it's slapping you around, I'm like, oh! it turns around and goes, what the fuck are you looking at? Does my like, penis no, have a no, face? sorry, body? sorry! How is my penis holding me by the collar and slapping me? Because it's symbolism for masturbation. Oh! Because when you masturbate, you're not really doing the thinking. It's your penis that has full control over you. Dude, that's so true. I never thought of it that way. Man, it's like, it, it should be weird. For for guy friends to, I guess show girls each other don't their... care if they see each other's tits. That's true, and guys don't care if they see each other's tits. No, they don't. You want to see my tits? But if you were to walk into a locker room and you saw a dude naked, you'd be like, "Ah, oh, shit, dude, sorry." If you saw a girl naked, you'd be like, "Fuck, oh, am I a sexual harasser now?" That's true. You'd, uh, you'd whoops. It's, it's 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 a lot different. Well, I guess with like seeing a guy naked, it's like you you know you got the same stuff. Guys see each other naked, so it's like, oh, sorry, man. But it wouldn't, like, you know, if you walk in your friend naked, it's just like, ha, whoops. Yeah. If you walk in on your dad naked, like I <clears> commonly <throat> do, not my dad, your dad. Purposely. Purposely. Yeah. He doesn't know it's purposely, but every yeah. time, every time your dad's changing, I'm always, whoops, sorry. <laughs> Look, I know you want to get a, you want to get a good shot of that cock of his. I do. I really do, man. You know, I can't help it. It's a nice cock. It is. It is. But, uh, speaking of nice cocks, mm-hmm. USC... Go Cox. You just knocked over a stool, Ryan. I'm going to get it back with my foot. Hit the GameCube. Why'd you do that? get it back with my foot. Watch this. Fuck. Nope, he's trying. I got sweaty feet, so I can't. Come on. Pull it up. There you go. There you go. It is back in place. He has lifted the stool back up. 
with his feet, every, everybody. Like a monkey. Quite quite a feat of a... Uh, <clears throat> get it? Because it, it was quite a feat. And uh-huh. used your feet. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish you laughed like that at everything I said. Like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Just ha, 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 ha. Oh, man. R- rest of the podcast, you gotta how, laugh like how's that. How's editing for the Game Grumps going, dude? It's going great, man. <laughs> Love my job. Yeah. Yeah, really enjoying it. How about you? Going well. Right now I've got some... Uh, Kitty Cat Gaming, working on that PUBG episode that we got done, which is super cool. Got to edit this podcast tomorrow, probably. Rad, dude. Got to tell Don what to do for the thumbnail. Good old Don. He's a, by the way, he's he's awesome. He's our, our channel artist on Twitter. He is Don Do Ro 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 Ro. Go check rows. out his Twitter, because his pictures are super awesome. He does, he does some great drawings, guys. Got to love the little boys. What, he's, he lives in Europe or some shit? I don't know. I don't know. He's cool, though. He's a really cool dog. Get cool, it? Cool little dog. Because his, his avatar is a dog. That's why I did that joke. Okay, Ryan. Let's talk about furries. Okay. I want to make a documentary about furries. A really good documentary about furries. We've talked about this. I know we need to. We need to make like a... Uh... I want to go hang out with them. Learn their lifestyle. <laughs> breathe learn the same air lifestyle. they breathe. Wear their diapers. Like I just want to I want to be a part of that of that community for, for half a day maybe. And just see what it's like. There are people who are 100% socially normal, like they're not socially awkward, and they are furries. Oh, totally. No, I know furries, and I and I got nothing against furries. I'm talking about the hardcore ones that like wear the suit all day. Yif, 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 yeah, yif, those yif, ones. Yif, yif. The ones that you know, you know, they like to do the um, they like to get a little freaky in the fursuits. suits. That's fine. Yeah, too. no judgment. I mean, I I just I'm I'm intrigued by that lifestyle, and I'd like to learn more about it, and right. I'd like to do that. Through making a documentary, I think that'd be a fun way to do it. I think I I get a little weirded out when they start doing, "Hey, how's it going?" and they start doing voices in their costumes, especially when they got like the really expensive ones that like the mouths move and everything. I'm like, ha, that's okay. Ha, ha, let's go have fun. All right, because like in general, like from what I see, that's just another way of escaping a life you don't like. Damn. Yeah. I mean, everyone everyone has their own thing that they do. But, like, becoming a character is a nice way to kind of put yourself on hold. Jim Carrey talked a lot about that in the documentary, of how it was nice to take a break from Jim Carrey and just become someone else. Shit, dude, I never thought of it that way. Like, when you're acting, just don't just don't worry about your own shit. Just be someone just, else. Just be someone else, yeah. yeah. Oh, man, I never thought about that. That's, like, a really interesting way to think about it. Yeah. Yeah, like, I, I just, uh, I don't know. I, I guess it's another, do you think furryism? Furryism is another uh, form of escapism. Yeah, one hundred percent. There's so many like things that are can be classified as escapism. Like, obviously the biggest ones are like drugs and alcohol. But then like there's like video games and. Wait, did you just say drugs? Dude? I just said drugs. Ryan, throw some air horns in. Thank pew, you. Pew, 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 real air horns, pew, Ryan. Real. No, I don't want to put any real. Come on, Ryan. I know it's in. more editing effort. Just put one in, please. What? It... Right here. Put it. Go. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, I see Sorry for that, Ryan. Wait, what, what? What What were you saying? There was a jackhammer going on. I couldn't hear you. Well, that's more editing. It's more work for yourself. Jeez, I just can't. I can't fucking hear you, dude. I'm All right, sorry. bub. All right. <laughs> All right, bub. <laughs> I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. It's a form of revenge. So, so the viewers can't hear me in my opinions. <laughs> Someone's gonna be listening to this podcast, falling asleep. All of a sudden, the sound of a fucking jackhammer is gonna be <laughs> like an air horn fall by a jackhammer. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be so confusing. Just in the middle of a podcast, we should just randomly get like the loudest sound a computer can produce and just play it. Just like, in, just in the middle of a podcast for like half a second and then just continue on the conversation. Yeah. Alexa, call dad. I was about to say that. What the fuck? Are you inside my head? I don't know, dude. I was literally about to do an Alexa thing. You know how many times that happens where it's like, dude, how were you thinking what I was thinking? It's I crazy. Know, I hope Alexa called your dad. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, I guarantee a bunch of people just had to like tell their Alexa to stop. Yeah. Cause uh, I remember that one time we said we told Alexa to do something. Everybody was like, "Like my Alexa actually responded to that." Like, uh, like Alexa, play Jock Jams, or like 
Okay, Google, text mom, fuck you. <laughs> yes. Send. <laughs> I mean, I'm oh sorry if that if anybody if that just I hope it affects someone. I'm really sorry. I hope it does. I'm really. <laughs> you can show your mom this clip to explain it. To yeah, her. exactly, <laughs> exactly. But if you have to, I hope that it. Oh man, I hope that it did it. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see how. We'll see because here's the thing: if we know it's real, people will send like kind of uh, text message things uh, to our twitters, which will look somewhat believable. Or they'll fake it with their friends to be like, ah, oh, the funny YouTube men, they're going to notice me and think it's real. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, like, my you know, my favorite thing about Alexa is you can say, Alexa, play jock jams. And then it'll be like, playing 32 jock jams. <laughs> and, but it's just, it's just like, and it's just like music that you can imagine a bunch of like bros lifting weights to. But it's very homoerotic at the same time. They're like very homoerotic jock jams. Yeah. Actually, you know what? What? Okay, Google, find the nearest Chuck E. Cheese and get directions to Chuck E. Cheese. That's probably not going to... It does not know what to do from that. No, it doesn't. I guarantee it doesn't. Well, well, anyone who's listening, go find your nearest Chuck E. Cheese, go have a pizza, and then come back and listen to the rest of the podcast. Okay, hold up. We were having a debate about this the other night, me and Ryan and Tucker. Because Tucker wanted to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. And Ryan was saying, no. It's for children. Three grown men can't go to a Chuck E. Cheese. You can't. And enjoy pizza. You can't. I am currently, I have I have not made my decision. Well, I have a, a, uh, an existing bias in my head, but I haven't informed Ryan of what my bias is. Let me hear your side. Why can three grown men not go to a Chuck E. Cheese and play some games and play in the ball pit and eat some pizza? Because it's a kid's restaurant for kids' birthday parties and children. And if three grown men show up to a Chuck E. Cheese, they're going to look like they're predators going after children okay i agree with you i i just wanted to hear your side okay. i disagree with tucker i think that three grown men absolutely cannot walk into a chuck e. cheese <laughs> restaurant and play the games and eat you, pizza you can go to around one you can go to a frankie's fun park yeah but you can't go to a chuck e cheese no, chuck e cheese is exclusively for young children <laughs> i know it's like do you think like, but what if, okay, what if we really, really wanted Chuck E. Cheese pizza? Okay. We really wanted to go play the games. Do you think it's possible we could go on Craigslist and be like, hey, parents, we just need one kid. You're making this way more difficult. Well, if, if I want Chuck E. Cheese you and I don't want to feel call weird. in and say, hey, I want a pickup order. I got a kid. No, I want to go play games too. I want to go play the games and get tickets and win prizes. So Do you think there's one parent out there that would be like, sure. You can take my kid to Chuck E. Cheese for the day. And I wouldn't hang out with the kid. I'd leave the kid by himself in Chuck E. Cheese to go have fun. But, you know, like, if you're there with a the kid, then it's okay. But now you're actively searching for a small child. Not in a creepy Something way. that you weren't even doing before. Like, going to a Chuck E. Cheese without that <laughs> intent, it was, it's like, it just looks weird. It's fine. But now you're actively searching for a small child. Now I'm child. actually bringing children into it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, I'm A, searching for a small child, and then B, abandoning the small child in a public place where there could be more creepy people Using like the me. small child. Absolutely. Yeah. Have there, have there been any cases of uh, diddlers at Chuck E. Cheese? I'm gonna look yes, up, of course there have. I'm going to look up. It's a children's restaurant. I'm, of course there's diddlers there. I'm looking up Chuck E. Cheese. And that's why we can't go because diddlers. we would look like diddlers. You can't, like, three grown men. That's why they can't go to a Chuck E. Cheese. It looks like they're there to abduct a child. Oh, man. I can't imagine a worse I mean, job than working at Chuck E. Cheese. The fucking slogan is where a kid can be a kid. <laughs> so Yeah, we got to tell Tucker that. Like, Tucker, that, that is the end all to his argument. <laughs> I know. Like, I Tucker, know. of course we can't go to Chuck E. Cheese. What's the slogan? And he'll think for a second go, where a kid can be a kid. It's not where a grown man can go to have fun with his other grown man friends. <laughs> where a grown man can feel like a kid again. Yeah, it doesn't say Chuck E. Cheeses. Please feel like a kid again, and don't please. touch the kids that are here. Please. please don't do that. Please, please, please don't touch the kids. Why don't they make an adult section of? Why don't they make like an adult Chuck E. Cheese? That's like it's like a bar. It's like a nightclub. It's called Chuck Dave e. and Buster's. Yeah, but I want Chuck E. Cheese branding. You won't get that. I want Chuck E. Cheese branding on. What's an wrong adult with the Dave and Buster's or Around One? They're so much better than Chuck E. Cheese. They are, and but their Chuck brand. E. Yeah, but I like the branding of Chuck E. Cheese. I like. The branding of Chuck E. Cheese is just slightly creepier than McDonald's. It's like it's like '90s McDonald's. Yeah. Which actually '90s McDonald's was creepy as shit. Remember yes. like Mr. Mr. Mayor Hamburger. I don't even remember his remember his name. Do they still have Ronald McDonald as a fucking like ceramic figure sitting on a bench, 
putting his arm around kids. At some location, I'm sure. When's the last time you saw Ronald McDonald, though? Did they just abandon him? Did they kill him? Yeah. Is he killed off now? I'm going to look that up. When is the last time you saw Ronald McDonald? Hold like on. in a commercial, at a, at a restaurant? Okay, Google. What happened to Ronald McDonald? According to Wikipedia, in television commercials, the clown inhabited a fantasy world called McDonaldland and has adventures with his friends Mayor McCheese, the Hamburglar, Grimace, Gertie the Early Bird, and the Fry Kids. That did not. That didn't answer. That, that just told us the background of Ronald McDonald. Oh my god. But like, God. those characters were creepy, right? That was a, what is that? What the fuck? Am I the only one that thinks that? Do you think that those characters were creepy? Those From like the old school McDonald's one? Like the Hamburglar? Like, I just want to... I just want to eat some burgers. I don't want to. I don't want to have these creepy characters shoved in my face. It makes me less appetized by the food. That's the first Ronald McDonald. Ew! What the fuck? <laughs> I yeah. hate that. It says it's um, Willard Scott as Ronald McDonald <laughs> from the first of three pre-recorded television advertisements. I gotta see this. The Ronald McDonald commercial. Yeah. The original one. His nose is not a clown nose. It's literally a paper cup taped to his face. And it looks like someone <laughs> scribbled on his face with, like, magic markers and then just fucked his hair up. It's like he went to he went and just, they put grease in his hair and fucked it up. All right. Introducing the world's newest, silliest, and hamburger-eating-est clown, Ronald McDonald. hamburger eating That's my favorite adjective is hamburger eating -est. What the f- I hate it! He has, he has a meal on top of his head. Especially when you got delicious McDonald's hamburgers. Ronald, you can't be on TV and watch it at the same time. Oh, Ronald, he's so silly, dude. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Why didn't they stick with that design? Let me describe him, okay? So, whoa. What? Listen to that. Same time. Now, come on and meet the boys and girls. Oh, we've already met. I know we're going to be friends, too, because I like to do everything boys and girls like to do. Mm, that's a little creepy. Yes, I see. I see why they ditched that version of Ronald McDonald. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's very obvious why they ditched that version. I've already met all the boys and girls. I, I just love doing what children do. <laughs> I'm a I'm a big child. A man that has a cup taped to his face, markers scribbled over it, his hair's all fucked up, and he's wearing a box on his head <laughs> with a hamburger, French fries, and a large soda. He loves doing his, what all the <laughs> children do. That's what the children do. They tape cups to their face. They, uh, you know, they they wear food on their head. Oh my god. Evolution of Ronald McDonald. Whatever happened to him though, you know? Let's like, for real, I'm curious. Did McDonald's kill him off? Because I have not seen him. This Maybe is, it's because I don't watch TV crazy. anymore. It's not letting me pause it. Okay, there we go. It's the curse of Ronald McDonald. He gets inside of your phone, <laughs> and he possesses you, and then you become the next Ronald McDonald until you pass it on to somebody else. Yeah. Like, it follows. Except it's McDonald's. It... McDonald's. That's it. It's just called McDonald's. Except it's said like it follows. McDonald's. McDonald's. Okay. It's a stretch, but I, I see I see it. I see okay. it. Okay. Okay. I see it. We got it. Do Cut. You... <laughs> That's it, guys. That's a wrap. We got it. We got the one perfect <laughs> Cut, joke. Print. <laughs> I just like I, I'm kinda glad they ditched him because I, I feel like have you noticed this trend as we've moved further into the two thousands of ditching mascots for food and moving solely towards just the marketing is based purely around the food and not around like a goofy character or like uh minus like even like kids cereals doing a little bit did you that know? become a legality thing like you're like uh the same reason cigarettes can't have a fun mascot that's like hey smoking cigarettes is so fun oh boy i love it like with all these super sugary cereals are they still allowed to advertise in the same way i don't know because i, I feel like i mean those those cereals are not good for you at all like like Honey Smacks, Fruit Loops. Like I love me some Fruit Loops, man. Fruit Loops are my favorite cereal. Are like, they? Yeah. But um. when I eat them, I'm like, these. This is not good for me. And I, I know for a fact it is absolutely pure shit that I'm putting on my body. I would say Fruit Loops is one of my favorite cereals without milk. You don't like it with milk? I like it with milk. All I'm saying is, I like other cereals way more than Fruit Loops that have in which it's in a bowl with milk. But if I were to be handed a cup of a cereal where it's just like a like a snack. Yeah. But there's no milk. Okay. Then it would be Fruit Loops. Which, or I think my number one dry cereal to eat for fun is Apple Jacks. Apple Jacks are really good. They're literally <clears> just <throat> Fruit Loops that are apple flavored. I love Apple Jacks. What is your favorite cereal? Uh, see, it, this isn't as in my, f this is my favorite in terms of, like, I 
I won't I don't want this all the time, but when I do, it it serves the craving larger than any other cereal craving I ever have, and it's fruity pebbles. Oh my god, man. You can't go wrong with fruity pebbles. <clears throat> god damn fruity pebbles. They are Especially so good. right when you pour the milk in and they're still crunchy, they're, they're but a little still, bit cold and soft. Oh my god. They get, of course, a little, uh, just like Rice Krispies when they get all soggy and floppy. You but in that, that shit fast. In that beginning stage. Oh, it's good. Like God the first damn. few bites of a bowl of Fruity Pebbles, that's like ecstasy. It's so good. You know it's a good bowl of uh, Fruity Pebbles when you pour in the milk, but you don't pour in enough milk to where you start to see the milk come up under the cereal. You're like, okay, there's a lot of milk under there. You put your spoon in there, and all of a sudden you're like, oh. Oh damn! There's like a cavern oh. of milk under this dry cereal. It's like it's like a, it's like a little underwater cave. You, you want to save as much of that crunchiness as possible. And you want that shit because because oh. you want you want some milk in there, but you don't want too much to ruin the cereal. Nothing's worse than a little bit of soggy cereal. And if you're one of those fuckers out there that eats your cereal soggy, like you let it get soggy, fuck you. That's disgusting. You're absolutely wrong. But I think my favorite cereal is definitely Fruit Loops and Marshmallows. Fruity mm-hmm. Pebbles are good. I like uh, Honeycomb. I don't know if they still even make that. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen it in a while, but I you like know, honeycomb. This is one of my. This is not like one of my big favorites, but I like pops. Oh yeah. But the texture of pops when you chew, they always just feel stale. Like, is that the yeah? Is that the draw chewy. to pops? They're a little chewy. Yeah. I like pops. They're good. That that is a draw to me at least. Oh my god, the milk uh, after pops tastes really sweet. Like it just sweetens it up a bit. That almost, I think it tastes kind of like your almond milk. Yeah, I just I bought soy milk for the first time. Sorry, recently. soy milk. Well, it's milk. it is almond milk, oh, okay. but it's like it's like, it's like silk. vanilla silk. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had some I had some almond milk and some soy milk recently, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try buying some soy milk because I don't know. I'm gonna try it out. It's good. I got some. It's fucking delicious. I'm gonna start buying soy milk now because soy milk is so tasty. And I, you know what? All right, go ahead and call me a soy boy. I dare you. Call me a soy boy. That's what I am. I'm a little soy boy. I like it. It's good. But I, you know, like I can just eat onions to counteract the uh, the soy because that's that's a thing that that some of some of them believe is like the soy because that's estrogen. Uh, eating soy makes you more feminine, and that explains transgenders and stuff. And uh, onions have testosterone, so there are guys on the internet out there who uh, eat onions um, to raise testosterone levels. So keep, ogres keep, are like keep, onions. Yeah, keep keep going, guys. And that's a nice Shrek reference. <laughs> I picked it up. Thank you. It's hard Very not good. to pick it up because the word ogre is in there. Do you think, uh, could you could you compare a lot of those guys eating onions to ogres, you think? Probably. I could say so. And I'm happy with my soy, so I'm going to sit here and be a little soy boy and y'all can't do nothing about it. You know what about cakes? Cakes have layers too. Yeah? And the cake is a lie? Am I right? Woo! I- Damn! Video game reference, Nice baby. Undertale reference. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm gonna get it. A lot Ryan. of people just went. Eh, that's not. That, uh. What? Okay. What are the odds, Ryan? That. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are the odds that you have to make uh, your phone background a picture of yourself shirtless and flexing for a week? So like your own phone Ten. background is just a picture of yourself Ten. shirtless. Ten. All right. Three, two, one, six. Eight. Oh. I don't have to do it. That's okay. so embarrassing. I was talking with someone recently. Okay, wait. Now my turn. Okay. Odds are. You put your home screen and your background, every both of the backgrounds on your phone, as uh, me posing naked with me like cupping my cupping my genitals, so you can't see them. Oh my god! But it's just me going. How long? Uh, five days. Five days. A work week. Okay, a work week. Can I like start in on Monday next Monday yes. and then go to Friday? Yes. Okay, I'll do ten. Okay, one, two, three, two. four. Don't have to do it. Okay. Don't have to are. do it. Dude, we should do an entire podcast episode where it's just what are the odds? It's <laughs> just constant what You know what we should odds? do from now on? We should make a segment where every episode we come in with a what are the odds for each other. Well, I mean, do it. I mean, during our vlogs, we're going to start doing what are the odds. Yeah, that's a great I'd idea. Imagine, like in the middle of a vlog, just like, okay, what are the odds you do this? Let's do it. Fuck. Let's okay. do it. Um, Which they will be coming soon. We're going to hopefully film a vlog within the next two weeks, I want to. I would like to say within the next week. But I'm giving ourselves space just because shit happens. Yeah, you know, shit happens. Just like that famous bumper sticker. I uh, I was talking with someone recently and just talking about how uncomfortable it would be to have, like, as... Like, you know, like people that have themselves as their phone background? You think it's a little weird? Yes. I, I think it's a little bit odd. Uh, no judgment. Have you come you across it. people like that? I have. I've met people where, like, their phone background... I don't is remember them, who it was. like a selfie of them smiling? Yeah, it's like themselves. And I'm like, oh, your phone background... I, I didn't point it out, but I'm like, oh, your phone background is yourself. My phone background is just black 
And then my lock screen is, of course, you guessed it, Matt. The Iron Giant. <laughs> my phone background is a picture I took of a cool train station in Tokyo at nighttime. Ooh, and I like it see. a lot. Look at this. Look at this. It's a, uh, look, see a little city? Little city line. Well, that's nice. I, I just station. like dark backgrounds. They feel good, and it saves battery because your pixels aren't at work. If it's too light, then everything, like, kind of just gets too, like, fuck. Yeah, I know. When, when, when I'm in bed at night, I got to turn that phone brightness all the way down to zero so it doesn't hurt my, my little baby eyes, my tiny little virgin eyes. God damn it, dude. What? <sighs> What's wrong, Ryan? I only have 610 more calories for the day. And I have to probably eat another 2,000, so. I don't know what meal I'm going to eat that's filling later today that has that. Whatever. It's fine. Just eat air, man. Just go, <gasps> why don't you filter feed like a sponge? It's the best way to lose weight. <gasps> I wonder if there's people out there that are convinced they can filter feed. Yeah. You can't. Just a spoiler. By the way, no. That's, that will kill you, so please don't do that. That's been health advice with Matt Watson. And with that, I think that's a good place to... In this week's podcast, what do you say, Ryan? But not before I give myself a personal shout out. I've started uh, streaming on Twitch uh, more consistently. <gasps> yes, he so has. I don't have a schedule yet, but if you want to catch some of my Twitch streams, uh, it's twitch.tv slash Eli Ryan McGee, E L I R Y M A G E E. I got it all set up. Don uh, made a wonderful, delicious profile picture for me. It's Love delicious. you, Don. It You're wonderful. Good. It looks nice. And uh, I just stream kind of whatever. Right now, I've been streaming Cuphead, Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Uh, I want to get into just kind of like more platformers. I want to play some more. I want to play some like Binding of Isaac, stuff like that. And also make sure to keep your ears and eyes both peeled. Your Peel ears, them off. Your Rip ears off. have to be peeled too for both Matt's and Super Mega's Twitch. Well, hopefully we'll be um, coming to you within the next month or so. If there's one thing I'm excellent at, it's saying I'm going to start streaming and then not doing it. Yeah. Uh, that's actually one of my many talents. But if you and I start streaming together, you'll be like, wow, I do like this streaming thing. Maybe I want to do it by myself. I do want to do it by myself. Literally, I just am stuck at this process of trying to create a background that I like, like a layout, and then getting the rest of the technical stuff set up. Yeah. I finally uh, made one I'm like happy with, like the aesthetic. Yeah, I, got, I like, like it a lot. It looks good. wooden cabin shit. It looks good. Yeah. But go check out Ryan's stream. Subscribe to him on Twitch. For some reason, every time you go live, it sends me an email personally that says Ryan McGee is now live on Twitch. You so I got to figure out how to change that. can't to me yet. Because I'm I'm working through that. I got an email with Twitch today. We'll go follow him. Because on I was Twitch. I was talking. You know what they said? What they say? Hold on, hold on, hold on. They said they said, boy, it feels good to be gay, and that was it. Apparently, Twitch is fighting with the IRS. Really? Why? Uh, we have received a notification that their IRS database is undergoing a maintenance, and hence there is a delay in validations for being a part of their partner program. Oh, that makes sense. Well, man, the IRS is not someone you want to fight with. Nope. Wow. Guys, if you ever get letters from the IRS, please take them seriously. Yeah, I took uh, one time I got a letter from the IRS because they, they random. I have no idea why they were randomly were just like, "Hey, this guy's committing uh, identity theft." I'm like, "No, you? They I'm thought me. you were committing identity they theft." They thought I wasn't Ryan McGee pretending to be Ryan McGee. <laughs> but I had to, so I had to call them and prove to them over a course of an hour that I was Ryan McGee. They I had ask to ask you all sorts of personal questions. I had to get a bunch of like legal documents up. I Damn. had to give them like a bunch of information of my past and stuff like wow. that. And it's their fuck up, not mine. I was living my life. And all of a sudden, randomly, they were like, Ooh, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. For the IRS, that was not Matt Watson making fun of, that was Ryan <laughs> McGee making fun of the IRS. I have nothing but respect for the IRS and um, the members of its agency. Please don't. Pursue my taxes. But only the men of the agency. No. I respect the women of the agency more than, the, well, equally with the men. <laughs> equally? Yes. Not just a little bit more? Maybe a little more. They're it's going hard. through a lot recently. Yeah, they are. It's good. The, the, I, I respect all of you at the IRS. Uh, please don't look into my taxes. Matt, watch out! The podcast is ending! Oh, shit!